Good evening, everybody. Greetings to you all. Greetings, greetings. Guinea. And the children give you down. But I don't disturb me. Greetings to you all. All right. Thanks for joining my live. If you are joining me, do not forget to invite your friends, share this video, and tag your friends. Because I'm going to be touching a lot of things on this video. Reasons why you cannot separate from your forces. Be it water, be it earth, be it sun, be it whatever spirit you are attached to that is part of you. Reasons you cannot separate with such spirit. Greetings, Chica Stella. Reasons you cannot separate. Before I proceed, I'll call out my phone number as I usually do. Plus 234-70-305-70506. Usually, some people will come. They will say they want to do video chat to so be sure I'm the one. I'm not doing video chat. This is the only video chat I can do with you. How many people will like video chats? So I call the number this way so that when you get the number from my video, you will know that it is authentic. You will know that it is authentic. That you're not dealing with a scammer. Uh -huh. That is really why I made your Konano. Uh, I heard some of you are paying for tutorial. Somebody want to teach you how you can separate from water people. How you can separate from the Oko. I can separate from only Miri, I can separate from only this and only that. And I'm here to let you know for free that it's not possible. A whole lot of things can happen to you when you separate. You know, the thought is things the person asking it to leave its shell is giving it freedom. But it is leaving its protection. Your case will be like the case of the thought is that left its shell and became prone to attack. You know, when you want to attack tortoise, what it does is to enter its shell. It will withdraw. It will, it will withdraw. Put the retreats. Put the head inside the shell. If you like, may no man, that tortoise will not agree to bring out the head from that shell until it feels safe. So the shell for the tortoise is a form of protection. A form of protection from any danger so when somebody wants to kill the tortoise it comes with things like telling the tortoise that when you leave your shell you become free of the heavy burden you're carrying on your back if that tortoise is foolish enough it will leave its shell and it will start having problem that is what happens to most of you you try to go and separate yourself from your people. The little protection they are giving you, you no longer have that protection. You start getting into trouble. Nobody be saying you, they don't separate. They will say, oh, you want to do this? Oh, let's stand aside and watch and see how you fare without us. Can we fear me without them? I went for deliverance. And after my deliverance, what have you left me? I no longer see myself in the water. Far, far, far. I see, I see, Kobo. I went for deliverance. After the deliverance, I never see myself fly. I don't fly again. I don't have sex in my dream. Far, far, foul. I see your child. There is no possibility. Eh? They said I have a call, but I want to do, do it the church way. They say I can do it the church way. I see, I see. Far, far, foul. Nothing like the church way. You have to start looking at the church way. You will see that even the church will pick up it from you. Let me tell you, when a pure marina is really doing their ministry, it looks like the church, but it's not the church. Why do you need to? You're working with water. You're working with earth. You're working with air. You're working with the sun. Why do you need to deceive people that you will not shout in Jesus' name? When they turn their back, you will not start calling on the spirits you're working with. Even you yourself will not like it when people take your credit and give it to others. You will not like it. Uh, I want to go and uh, start to water people so they can leave me alone. It's a lie. Or they will not leave you alone. There is nothing like leaving you alone. 
I did it, can't be happy with your mark. I can't wear no beer. I don't have a queer cow. If you have a deal, you have a deal. If it is your sauce, it is your sauce. You cannot separate the fish from the water. Nor can you separate the plant from the earth. Nor can you separate the sun from the sky. <laughs> Nor can you separate the bed from the air. Because the bed is nothing. It cannot fly without the, without the air. Cannot stay. You cannot bring the fish out of water to not survive. Or can you oppress the plant from the earth? It will not survive. That is the way you are when you feel like you can separate. What you do is that you start dying slowly. It is not possible. What happens? You become prone to Mandia Mosu. You become prone to different torture. You become prone to different ogbojo. You become prone when you leave the protection of Ndegena Hasu. That is what you do. You enter into a deeper mess. There is nothing like that sort of separation. Instead, you are putting yourself into trouble. Anybody telling you that they will separate you, do this, do that, so that you can be free. That person is deceiving you. That person is lying to you. What you seek is alignment and balance with yourself. For yourself. For your betterment. For your edification and comfort. That is what you seek. Greetings, Queen Esther. That is what you seek. You don't seek to separate yourself from your source. You get a no problem. Daddy. One point ever. Two of you. Greetings, so do you get a no problem. I can be happy to go to the house. I can't be happy to go to the house. I can't be happy to go to the house. I can't be happy to When the tortoise leaves its shell, thinking it's freedom, it doesn't know that it's exposing itself to danger. That, is, that will be your case. And some of you, even the so called separation you're doing, you go there and you put yourself into more trouble. Ndio can join you say when they bought the pure beds. When they bought over her pure beds. Those from the celestial waters, because we have different kind of waters. We have the waters above and we have the waters below. The waters above control the waters below. You come from the celestial waters, from the pure waters, from the sacred waters. Mother, all you give them, they take you to the water and they want to separate you. And they will now bring goods, bring gram, and they will kill it for you on your behalf inside the water. And you want to be free. Do you know what you did? <laughs> Everything is in duality. Everything is in duality. Do you know what you did? Everything is in duality. Just like you that is watching me now. You are in du you exist in duality. You have your evil side. You have your good side. You have your dark side. You have your good, you have your good, good side. We all have that duality in us. It's the one you decide to. Show us the one you decide to exhibit. So when you go to the water and you kill this animal in the water, I don't know what you're doing. I posted that picture the other day. You wake up blood sucking demons. You wake them up. You don't know the portal you activated, you opened. And you have called them because you are the one that called them. It was called up for you. And they'll start working in your life. Like I tell you, some spirits, what they need to feed on is your tears. Low-level demons, they feed on pains. They feed on anger. They feed on everything evil. Low-level spirits are not killing people because they enjoy killing people. No, they enjoy the feeling you have when, some, when something bad is happening. That is why a low-level spirit will do something, cause I see them just so that there will be pain. People will cry. What they are feeding on is not just the blood, it's the pain. And then you open up such portals for them to... Whoever, I told you to leave, 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 leave. 
Don't make him noise. It's not like you stay one place. Now, you activate it. You invite them to a feast. Of course, when you invite them to a feast, they will want you to ask them to do something for them. And when you don't do it, you don't send them on it. They are bored. They don't know what to do. They don't see anything that they are feeding on. See what they do when you're doing that. You, do you know what the earth does? Why I ask you to be spilling blood on earth instead of the water? Ele in electricity, when you want to channel electricity so that it doesn't flow anywhere, you eat it. So that it doesn't go, maybe sparking or doing anything to control it, you eat it. So that blood that you do not want to just start going all over the place, you now carry that blood. And instead of eating it, you now go to the water, you're killing the blood. And instead of, it's not, it's not eating. It is spreading and spreading and spreading. Oh, there is a feast. And they come, who is feeding us? Oh, this person came to feed us. So, wow, well, let us eat and let us eat and be merry. They are always looking for who to serve. When you call up spirits, you give them a task. Yeah, a task. You tell them what to do. When they wait for you, wait for you, wait for you. And you've not done anything else to feed them again. You did not tell them to do anything. And they wait for you. You don't send them to go do any bad work for you. And you know, at, at the end of the day, they will still be exhausted because they like to cause mischief. And they wait for you. They did not see you. They will cause problem in your life. So that they will see what thing they go chop. Maybe they will cause one of your child to die so you can cry, so they can lick your tears. They enjoy your pain. Remember the energy that the animal you're killing is giving off. Nobody is happy dying. When you're killing an animal, the energy going off is pain, anguish, grief. And when you're putting the word, the, the, putting the blood on it, you're eating those energies. You're eating them. And when you're done, you cover. And you're also talking to this animal that you're not killing to maim. But for a feast. Because when you're done, you're going to use that animal to prepare a feast. For people to eat and be merry. Now you're not killing to men, but for a feast. But you go inside the water, you, you're now doing that, and the energy you're not eating it. When you carry that same wire, you put on earth and put it inside the water. You will electrocute as in you will electrocute everyone around you inside that water. But same thing does not happen when you put it on earth. Because the earth will absorb it and take it in and stabilize it. But water, a medium that transports everything. All the wrong spirits that are not supposed to be there will come and feast in your name. And they will follow you home. I'm wanting you don't know when you call on spirits, depending on the kind of spirit, you send them away when you're done. You finish opening this portal. You brought in things that you're not supposed to bring up. And they follow you. Oh, this person no remember us. If I say this person, may we kill you, may, may, may we buy one of him picking. And then you're crying, they are happy. Their happiness is not that they killed you. It's that feeling you're giving at that point. That sadness, that's what they are feeling on. Your grief. That is there are some spirits that for them to survive for a year, they need to just your tears. And when they don't see it again. Half Rosia, it be the web problem. As an adjudge, you really need to be able to get out of here. And then some people will tell you, you know you're a light worker. You know you're called to serve. And then someone will tell you, oh, then we can say, Mia, you can tell them that you'll do it at 40 years. You can tell them that you'll do it in 10 years' time. You can tell them to wait for you, let you work. <laughs> they will show you people who die your work. I saw some people that said, eh, all oh, these SMI, they don't have handwork. They don't, they're just doing this. They're just doing that. They're just waiting on people to come and work before. I don't wait on people to come and work before I feed. When I come and I'll feed. But the point is, how can I work when I don't even have time to do the work? 
to go to the work. If your call, if your calling allows you to work, then go ahead and work. I was in the bank. I know what I saw. I saw Shege Banza. I will pick customer's call. Customer is talking. I'm hearing something else. When I get myself, I will be like, oh, I, can you come again? I'll pretend it was the network. When my supervisors listen to those calls, they're like, we can actually hear this person. Do you have ear problem? I will say no. How do I tell these people that I have spiritual problem? I was hanging all the systems. Crashing all of them. System that somebody else will work on with the same workload that was working. I did not want to. Uh -uh. It was so intense. I kept on telling them I'm a baby girl now. I can't be doing this. I'm a baby girl. I need to make. Oh, always let me make money. They don't send me. Let me make a little bit of money before I go into this. And some people are saying, eh, there's a wine. They are collecting money, they are doing this. The gifts of a man make it way. As long as you know you are not scamming anybody, that you are doing the work. Hey, they are charging for Afa. They are charging for this. Hey, DBS of the old, they were not charging. Who told you they were not charging? DBS of the old, will you cross their shrine without carrying maybe one full chicken? You, you bring fowl. Those days, people have fowl in their house. You will carry goats. You will carry basket of yam. You will carry basket of cocoa yam. You will take cola nuts. You will take unk water early in the morning and move. You take calories. Did you come to my house with basket of yam and I sent you back? Did you come to my house with cocoa basket of cocoa yam and I sent you back? Did you come to my house with a um, gallon of palm oil and I sent you, please bring those things. I, I, I accept them too. Let's know which one is cheaper. I'm not making excuses for people that extort people in the name of spirituality. Because there are people that extort people. They'll be seeing work for you where there is no work. I've had people come to me that the spirit says, oh, you cannot do work for this person. You will just need to guide this person to do the work by themselves. They only. I do not have the authority to do the work for such people. And I simply guide them on how to do it. If I'm doing business, of course, even when this, I, I will charge you. Was it not somebody that came with a life-threatening issue and they said I should not charge? And I did not charge. My if can have a can charge, I don't they leave me to, I will charge them. You never do me anything. There is nothing like they will wait for you. There is nothing like that. Nothing like they will wait for you. Um, when you finish, when you make money, or you, uh, when you are 45, or when you are 50, or when you are old. Which strength will you use? Even the Bible tells you to serve your God in your youth. Which, which strength will you use to serve when you're old? There's nothing like that. It's like going to a company, you went for a job interview. You went for a job interview. Thank you. You went for a job interview. And they gave you the job. I asked you to do the job. You took up the job. You expect them to be paying you salary. And you tell them, you, and maybe they told you you come to work by 8 o'clock. You tell them, no, you come to work by... By seven by eight p.m., not eight a.m. Do you think they will pay you? Do you think they will they will sack you? So for some of you that are giving such you could pay with your life, or you could pay through another means. Or your husband, how you say husband did not allow even that husband they will collect them. The next thing is here kind of business here. A package go for the anana. And you'll be asking yourself what is going on. Or whatever because neither announce it. You're not listening. You're not listening. And that is why you are the way you are. There's nothing like uh, they, uh, they tell me and they told me that uh, I can do it after this, after childbirth. If you enter that side bed, you go by inside that place. 
There's nothing like that. And there's, there's nothing like, hey, they shall allow me to marry. When I marry, I will do the work. There's nothing like that. When you marry, you do the work, but you're hiding yourself. And then you go and get involved with a Christian man. Or a Christian woman. And after you start having problems inside the marriage. Because you, me, your partner is telling you you cannot function like that. I cannot do it. Let me do it the church way. That is why some of you are having issues. You want to do it the church way. You will not call Ndi Omekome. I said, I'm not going to do it. And then you will not call Ndi Omekome. You will not call Ndi Omekome. You will not call Ndi Omekome. You will not call Ndi And you keep it under your altar in the church. <laughs> One day they will disgrace you. That time you will not be looking like a thief. Because you are lying in the name of Jesus. The powers you are working with will disgrace you. Why do you need to deceive people? Well, if you came out in the first place, have you seen anybody go to a quarter cost house? I mean, they cook or keep it. They do all those things when they do. Have you seen anybody go to his house to say, I will disgrace you? You can't disgrace him. Because I'll put a pure second or walk on and go. No, boy, you go. So you can't do anything to him. He already told you this is where I stand. So you can't come out and say you're disgracing someone that is already out, telling you now, I will mow your go. It is that one that is shouting, um, I'm a pastor. Uh, Jesus called me, this, this, and that. And then you have something buried up. Now those people then go disgrace. Because you're not truthful. You're telling people who believe in Jesus that you're working with Jesus, but underneath you're working with something else. We need to start reasoning. We need to start thinking. I have to say that you are And for some of you, it is spoiling your business. No business you ever do will flourish. None of them will prosper. You will continue having issues. You came solely in this, into this world and you said this is what you are coming to do. And then you get here, you start giving condition of when you will do it. So, what will you be doing? You be the condition on where you are sign it. No, you can be the condition on where you are. Chakwani eche. You cannot do it with your earthly job. You can't, something you cannot do with your earthly job. You think you can do it with your spiritual job. Baba, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? If you may wulo. With your fellow human beings, or they call spirits, spirits say magi. Now before you before you take ten steps, they already know you're about to take ten steps. Before you take 20 steps, they already know you are going to take 20 steps. And they are waiting for you. When I was running away in the mother's hands, like this, I saw myself, I was running. She asked me, I said, Baba, I should run. I couldn't have to run this finger. I was running, I was tired. I will, I will rest. I will rest. I will rest. I will run. I ran. I, I ran. I ran until I couldn't run anymore. Somebody is telling you that you can tell them to wait for you. You cannot tell them to wait for you. You cannot. There is no separation. You should be seeking for union. Oneness. It did not to. Network. Union, it did not to. Oh, if you got any When the fish is inside the water, it is very healthy. Odiria Bazonama, greetings, okay, keep it earlier. Odiria Bazonama, Ndu Mirindu as Miriat and Azua Wona. The same way the earth is important for the plants to grow.
There is no lukewarm, <laughs> no middle ground. You are, either, you, you are either in or out. When I was putting up my temple, I moved from the express. We moved. When we were pro the procession with the waters, we, we wanted to, like, more like we didn't want anybody looking at us, not as if anything. And the mother said, if you hide us, we'll hide you. Izobe Munzobegi. So why are you hiding? It's better you come all out. You come all out. This is who you are. <laughs> Special advice to married people. I know most of you want to marry. Make sure before you start getting involved with someone, you know yourself, you know who you are, you know what you want to do. You know how your life already is. You know what you signed up for on this earth. That way the person can understand your assignments. And not you marry tomorrow in two most time and it's your more. Good evening. <laughs> Ayana. <laughs> All right. My husband said I cannot do this in his house. You did not tell him now. He did not know. My wife said he can, she cannot support me on this. For some women, unnecessary quarrel will be put. You'll be fighting over nonsense, over nothing. If anywhere is it. All the time, every time. For some men, let me warn you. For some men, greetings in them there's that stand in their wife's way. I will not blame the, I, will, I will not blame people that went into it that much because a whole lot was lost. People no longer know who they are. I will not blame them much for not telling you because some of them maybe they've already been ten years into the union before they notice what is going on. If we name a from why will be she from from hundred to zero instantly. That is where you start seeing some men saying that their wife caused their downfall. Or their wife is because of the moment they married this woman, they start having problem. Because the energy of a woman is very powerful. It can make, it can mark. And when they find out, they are telling you, no, you cannot do this, you still want to be, you still want to play, man. Let me tell you, those people can cut out the over one side, boogie. And some of you, maybe your success is in that woman's hand. Just all you need is to marry her, marry her and her forces, not just her. Do things together. But no, you want to be doing manhood. Oh, you only have to walk on a And then you go to. One, one yeah, yeah, pastor will tell you they can do separation. They've done it for so. That's how they will put you into bigger trouble. And when you're done, we can put a fear this stroke. My you put your business, they will your business. They will carry your business as in beat you hands down. Your bunny. Give you go see at it. So, Kagema, since you two were living in ignorance. Mm -hmm. since you two are, when the truth comes out be open about it be open the first time I would have gotten married was around 2018-2020 but when I found out that this person I was going to marry was actually not even though he said he had no problem I can do it I, the question I asked will my children be going to church he said, I, said I, I cannot do this he cannot walk. Until the universe sends me a wonderful man who understands my assignments and what I'm supposed to be doing. 
and willing to support me to any level. I was doing my work. I haven't met him through my work. Some of you are afraid when you do this, will you be able to marry? Will you be able? Did you come to this world to marry? When I tell you, you are not even reading the Bible well. That is just when you read the Bible, the Bible will tell you, seek you first the kingdom of God, and other things shall be added unto you. Kingdom, you seek you first your own kingdom because you are a God yourself. And other things you need to live in this world because all these things, yeah, how we hear German do corner at all. That's not your original purpose. Your original purpose is not to come here and marry. If you don't know, moto, ego, you have a hedge, you have a toto. Or they interested. And when you seek first yourself, naturally you're going to attract the rest to yourself. Me, you can't make it. Me, you But we are not ready to learn. We are not ready to learn. People are still on Facebook. And there's a why. They are divorcees. They are not living with their husband. They are not doing this. They are not. Have you heard their story? I've listened to different women in this calling. And when you listen, when you listen to them, you will be surprised. They couldn't take it anymore. They got married when they were still Christians. And when they found out that this is no evil, this is no, some of their husband's life is already at stake. And the only, the, only, the only solution is to leave this man so that he doesn't die on their account. And they leave. Or you come out to, walk, to mock them. They cannot stay in marriage. They cannot do, you don't know their story. You don't know why they are out there. There is no shortcut. I know someone. That our seven children we are taking before we are in Molaco. I have put the last one. Seven children and her husband all died one after the other. Until I put her happier. Do you know the kind of loss? Do you know what they are averting? Is it until that man died? Or the children start dying before she will leave? We have a stubborn husband that doesn't want the wife to do what she's supposed to do. Maybe you live so that they don't take the person's life. Because they can take out anything in your way. The only time they'll be flogging only you is if you are, if you are the one that is, that is standing in your own way. But they can take out anything in your way once you've agreed. They can take it out. So please understand that there is no um, separation. There is no that will wait for me. I will do it at this time. There is nothing like that. Somebody came to ask me a question. And when is the right time for me to start my work? My calling. So you, you know you have a calling. So you know your calling. So when what are you waiting for? There is no better time than now. Tomorrow is not promised. There's a reason you have past. Whether you call it past. And there's a reason today is present. Because it's a gift to you. To do whatever you can today. If you man here, man. Tomorrow is not promised. Today is a gift. That is why it is present. Greetings, Bobby Motos. Greetings, Vivian Michael. So why waste time when you already know your responsibility? Why waste time? And for those people that are not patient, uh, I want to open my third eye. I want to be seen. I want that's how you go and chop nonsense. You go and chop nonsense so you'll be seeing nonsense. I saw one video online, one pastor was telling a lady in the church, you're wearing pants, you have a pants. The pants is blue. He has white something. So how does she, that she's wearing um, blue pants and he has white something, how does he help her life? You don't have nonsense. The spirits that brought you will train you. 
can only have a mentor maybe that will guide you through your own paths. We all have a unique path. The way I do things cannot be the way you do things. We are all called differently. So you don't need somebody to be telling you you have to do the work this way, you have to do it that way. No. They will teach you. Most of the works I do, no one taught me. Unlike you, I had no physical guide. I kept asking questions. When you're ready, if, you're stu if, you have, if you have a stubborn spirit and a spirit that is patient and willing to learn, you will learn. All you need is dedicated time. Ask questions, they will answer you. It can take three months, it can take four months, it can take six months. I've been on this for six, this is my sixth year. So don't just think I just came out of nowhere. Okay, the one that happened, that one fire burned her four children before she now. A whole lot. But we are no longer patient. We don't want to be patient. You want to see it immediately, immediately, immediately. Anything you cannot arrange inside yourself, you cannot arrange it from outside. It starts from within. Going to do water work without first connecting from inside. Going to do our, going to do different things you're doing, if not connected to the within, to the powers within. Because as within, so without. As without, so within. You've not connected to what is inside. How can you connect to what is outside? It's like someone, when you bring your cup, you wash the outside. You will not wash the inside. You will still be drinking dirty. Or when you have infection, instead of you to be, you have ST, instead of you to take medicine inside your system, you are applying it on your body to still be there. There are sometimes maybe you see certain people. If I need to cast an arrow, maybe boil, boil, and you will see a medical personnel tell them that this thing is coming out from. You have to treat it from inside, so it will come outside. That's the way spirit. It has to come from inside, within. It's what is inside you can manifest. You cannot manifest what you don't have inside, outside. You cannot manifest it. And they say no na mama po na it's from the inside that everything happens. Why are you going to take nine months to form before we can see the child? So, I go, my honey, no, but you have to start from inside. You make all you see where I put that. So if you are still going to look for, you do alpha today, today, today. You want to do work today, today, today. As a one, you're going there with the hell. It's people like you that enable all this okoko. I don't even know what they are doing. You do this thing. The next thing, you're taking the person to the water without prep. Without prepping the person. I don't know what she is. What is she is. This person doesn't even no knowledge of self. You just rush it. I've done water work. I've done it hundred times. You and you will continue to do it until you learn. To start doing the work from inside. And to understand that it is continuous to be connecting to yourself. You've been you eat to grow this physical body. There are things you do to maintain your spiritual health too. Until you learn that you cannot really be enlightened. So, the summary of this video is that I want to tell you is that you cannot separate yourself. My phone number remains plus 234-70-305-70506. You cannot separate yourself. I do hope possible. And stop allowing anybody to put blood for you inside the water. If you follow anybody, when you say me and you see me killing something inside the water, turn, go to sleep pass again. Dust your sandal like this. Move. Tell that water. Aka ga drop ya. Mi fo na ebu. Na odo ebu kweru gya ni selu ga aka. E kwa aka pon chus pilots. Ga yiru. Your hand no day. You no do. 
You know follow do. You know one do. It's that simple. It got on okay. Everybody here may punch you spiders into a quack and a kaya de roqua. A quack and keggy, naka ga de roqua. So I told you, I name a man on a man, you see, and you see, and is in on here. A pair of car from Bosos on the roof, where Bomanjo Manjel were all lazy. The arrow. Have you thought about the life in the water? Who even told you? Well, let's forget about the, spirit, the, the spiritual implications. Let's talk about the physical one. You're going to the water. There are people that are drinking that water. There are people that come to wash your nubo in that water. You drown an animal inside the water. It will decay with maggot everywhere inside. There are people that are drinking that water. What about the life in that water? Have you thought about that? What about the animals living in that water? What is their fate? Boru sleepers, don't love sleepers near the nafia. Boru fanta near the nafia. Boru dati near the nafia. A romplain my motor robber near the nafia. Boru hunt and eat bodya when you may go to go. Would you block all waterways? How does that help the ecosystem? Let's forget about spiritual. You need way that's in a miri. You pour deaths, pollute the water. And you want your life to be okay. Your life cannot be okay. The waters you pollute will pollute your life. And you're not going to like it. I'm going to work on her non I'm going to end my video here. You that is planning to go and do that separation, please come back. Collect your money if they never buy anything. If they don't buy, leave it, leave them. It go better for you. Say you forfeit that money than to go on that journey. Do better for you. Mwanoke, okay, Messi, have a wonderful evening. I love you all.